Oh, ew! We didn't see this one. Okay, this is Spook Train Curtain. Oh, it's age restricted. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love the gays. I love the gay. <laughs> just so it's on the record, I'm not homophobic. Anyway. because you're too busy visiting your mother all the time. It's not normal. Well, since Dad's gone, and now Tony's gone, you'd be a bit vulnerable not to mention lonely. Don't you agree? If you've caught the other bus like your brother did, I'm going to be very upset, Joe. I'm not like Tony. Don't be so bloody dramatic. I've just not met the right woman yet. Tony. Do you remember what the doctor said? It were instant. What the fuck? Feel a thing he said. <sighs> Holy shit. Well, it's quite a nice way to leave this world rather than that, um, AIDS. Don't you agree? <laughs> Holy shit. It's getting late. Take your pills. Oh. AIDS. Uh, you get it, guys? Uh, because only gay people can get AIDS. That's a known fact. Are these the right ones? Yes, mum, take them. That's what old people think, though. Oh, careful! Bloody old thing. Who are you calling old? I'll swing by tomorrow. And don't come back until you've found yourself a nice girlfriend. Oh, oh God! Curtains! You forgot me curtains! Me curtains. Are they British? They, they sound more Scottish. <laughs> That's weird. Curtains. Northern England. Close it, bro. Close it. What the fuck? <gasps> oh. Voice acting's really good in this. Her scream. That was really good. Oh my god. That's so bold of her to not be looking at the door at all for this much time. I can't get up. Joe! It's not Joe, it's me, Tony. They're coming for you. Get out of here before it's too late. Oh, ew! It's XQC. 
Oh shit. Does he have a willy? Oh, she's bleeding. No. Ew, he has a willy. The way she moved it. Bro. I'll show you who you fucking with. Ooh. Let's fucking go, Mimo. Oh. Ew. Damn. You do not need that many people on one grandma, bro. What is what wait, what is the messaging? Holy shit, dude. Go easy on Oh my god! She's still alive. Imagine the pain. Jesus Christ, the way she just flew out. What is... Is there a message? Message, close your curtains, yeah. Is it because she was homophobic? Oh. She died peacefully in her sleep. <laughs> what the fuck? What the? What? <laughs> Dude, that's so disrespectful, though. The, the guy's grandma just... I mean, the guy's mom just died. And then right there... <clears throat> Damn, I'm so sorry, man. Your mom just fucking died. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, head. Okay, so it's venom. Venom. <laughs> it's just... It's poison. Oh, is it because she, w she wasn't approving of, like, a gay relationship? And she was getting in the way of them getting together? So he, like, killed her? Message. Don't be homophobic, kids. The comments that dismiss this as not scary genuinely pisses me off. This man is a great filmmaker and it hurts to see people just shitting on this on his talent and dedication. I mean, I was definitely scared. <laughs> the fucking jump scares. To the new audience from TikTok, the mother was very homophobic. Oh, there you go. The mother was very homophobic. Her sons were both gay uh, and she didn't accept them. The doctor decided to pre prescribe her poison so her only other son can live his own life without her uh, constant berating and wanting for him to find a girlfriend because he already found someone. The cane around the neck bit was to show how powerless she is while the demons are just playing with her. Congrats if you didn't get scared on a claymation video. <laughs> Dude, yeah, for real, fucking. I feel like it's always like little kids that like, you know, 15 year, years old or something, but like have like this, this thing to prove where it's like, oh, oh I wasn't scared. I wasn't scaled, not scary. <laughs> like they just want a cookie. Like not everything is about being scary. It's the, the prime message. I mean, the prime goal of this is to, you know, get a message across. Mm -hmm.